That's why Yepi is not just uh, stopping all the plane and the, 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 the activities of the, the life life, but it's also to be able to put attention to your inner life, your mind, your heart, your speech, your action. Hey everyone, I'm in Bali and tomorrow is the silent day of Nyepi. Admittedly, I did book my trip here before I even realized this was a thing and stumbled across it and realized Oh God, I'm going to be in Bali on silent day. What is the go? <laughs> so what happens is from midnight tonight, you are basically not allowed to leave your accommodation, be that the hotel room. If you're in a resort, you might still be able to go around the resort grounds, but you can't leave your house. Um, so the streets will be completely silent, completely empty. And as well as that, there's no electricity, no internet, no fires, no noise, nothing at all. So a complete day of stillness and reflection and meditation. It's basically like the Hindu Balinese New Year. So in the lead up to that is tonight, which is the Ogre Ogre Parade. So all the little towns and all the groups of people have built these big demons out of like paper and wood and all these different materials. And they represent like the evil spirits from the last year. It's a parade through town of those and then it's sort of ceremony. The reason that this happens and then it's followed by a silent day is that the parade is to bring all the evil spirits to the island and then silent day is to essentially trick them into thinking that there's no people on the island so they leave again for another year. So a pretty cool thing to experience and a really interesting way to celebrate the New Year's Day. So I know a lot of tourists would probably avoid the area on this day. I think it's really interesting to learn a little bit more about the culture and the religion and what happens on this amazing, huge holiday that Bali celebrate? Things start to shut down the day before Nepi, um, around about two o'clock. You definitely need to be prepared. Nothing will be open on the day of Nepi, so you can't get food in most places because um, you're not allowed to leave your place. So I would recommend stocking up for a supermarket ahead of time if you're organized. I was not and luckily there was a convenience store next door so I have lots of instant noodles for tomorrow it's gonna to be an interesting day <laughs> so yeah I've stocked up on food oh, hi monkey and I have downloaded some movies and some books so I'm all set for tomorrow I'm um, gonna take my sunglasses off so the monkeys don't fight me it's been really cool being here for the last couple of weeks as well watching people start to build um, these the massive demons and boards with like crowdsourcing and things on them as well but the attention to detail and the amount of time that is put into these things is incredible and I can see a bunch ahead of me. Particularly in Ubud, you do notice these little grass baskets called Kanang Suri, and they are like an offering to the gods, and they've often got like incense and fruit and things in them. There's definitely more around today, which is beautiful, and there's a lot of extra little stands with offerings and candles and incense on it too. It really makes it feel like something special is happening today. It's an amazing like atmosphere in the air. As well as that, there's a lot of temples that I'm walking past where there's ceremonies being held, which I think is pretty traditional to do today and this afternoon before the parade. It's amazing to see these kinds of things and the smell of incense in the air is beautiful. So obviously everything's going to be closed tomorrow but it's about five o'clock and there's so much closed already. It's kind of weird. This is normally a really bustling street so it's kind of crazy to see it all like closed off for silent day. All the people here are so nice. I just asked like where are you going? What are you doing? And one of the guys put on my map where they're all meeting which is great but procession's happening. <laughs> Because they think it's so cute. The streets are wild. 
in with people. This is insane. But I kind of just joined these guys for a session. So we're sort of walking in the middle of it all. This is amazing. So cool. <laughs> I think it's Telegraph Wire guys, the real unsung heroes of this whole celebration to be honest. <laughs> okay, so I've made it to like the main soccer field, which it looks like is where they all gather, which is really cool. There is so many Olga Olga to see, it's amazing. And there's so many people here, and there's drums, and it's all exciting. And they're actually announcing each of them as they turn up because they're all from different like it's so beautiful making friends with people here and hearing like all the different accents and seeing all the people out and having a good time. <laughs> There's literally people everywhere and they're telling us to push back but I don't know where they want us to push back to or where we're all supposed to be but yeah this is managed. like a mosh pit like they full ram into you this is crazy definitely not what I expected <laughs> put attention to your mind to your speech and to your body action because 90% of our actions are beyond unconscious. That's why Nyepi is not just uh, stopping all the plane and the, 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 the activities of the Dalai life, but it's also to be able to put attention to your inner life, your mind, your heart, your speech, your action. So, that's the main message and good luck and happy Nyepi for tomorrow to everyone. silent day. It is pretty crazy that we can't leave our house. Um, in my case, I'm staying in like a co-living sort of area. So it's a bit of more like a resorty kind of vibe. So I can walk around the resort grounds and go to the pool, um, but I can't leave there because there's police patrolling outside of there, which is just crazy um, to consider. So I am staying in a place that does have electricity and internet. The woman who worked here said that they're really booked out last night and tonight because a lot of people do come to the very few places that have internet on the island. Um, however, I've taken the day off work and I'm going to try to observe the quiet, still reflective sort of nature of the day. So I'm gonna read a book, chill out at the pool, just hang out and I'm curious to see how many people are outside because I imagine it's gonna be busy because people normally leave during the day, but we can't. I managed to get some food yesterday, which I'm very grateful that I did at the convenience store and the little bakery. So I actually found bread. There wasn't much to put on the bread at the shop, but I have butter. So it's gonna be a weird start to the day, but we do what we need to do with what we have.
Breakfast of Champions. <laughs> crazy just like standing here and feeling the silence this road is normally like crazy bustling with motorbikes and horns and people and it's just nothing <laughs> i've lots of footage from the Oga Oga parade last night which is very cool um, and also the video i'm filming right now so i'm gonna start editing and having a play around with that to get my video done so stormy so it's perfect like inside hang out chill out day weather it's lunchtime so it's middle time i'm working on a cross stitch at the moment it will be a walrus it's currently just a nose <laughs> finally cleared up and so it's not raining so I'm just gonna like hang out near the pool and read for a bit cause... I'm currently reading a book called mindful traveling I've almost finished it and I've really enjoyed it it's one of the best books I've read for a while so definitely recommend it all right I'm back in my place I'm just gonna chill out make some dinner and then go to bed because I've got work early tomorrow thank you guys so much for joining me for my crazy experience last night of the Uga Uga and then also for my nice relaxing day today uh, for Nyepi I hope you enjoyed hope you found it interesting and if you liked my video please like it below and subscribing to my channel helps me out so much as well and check out some of my other videos i've got lots of bali videos and some other countries too otherwise i will see you on my next video bye